So let's talk about this new wave of AI that is using artificial intelligence to change our voices. Imagine shedding your vocal limitations. It's as simple as that. AI voice changes are doing just that, and it's revolutionizing the way we express ourselves. Forget the clunky filters. These tools use artificial intelligence to mimic and modify voices in real time with uncanny realism. I mean, the tech is a game changer for creators. Content can come alive with characters voiced on the fly. YouTubers can add a touch of anonymity or humor. It's a boon for those who may be shy or lack vocal confidence, allowing them to comfortably participate online. Even accessibility benefits, as AI can translate languages into the spoken word, or even create clear voices for those who struggle to speak. Ah, this power is definitely huge. Imagine a book with books with historical figures, Chinese people speaking their voices. Imagine a teaching tool that can be translated into language and be fluent in learning. I mean, AI voice changes are more than just fun. They're unlocking new avenues for communication and creativity across the board. So let's take a deeper dive into the tools I used to create this video. So unless you've been under a rock for the last 12 to 18 months, I'm sure you've heard of AI and how it's changing things for the better and for the worse. And if you do a quick Google for an AI voice generator, you'll come up with lots of different ones. Even Canva do an AI voice generator now. However, I'm going to close that because I've been using a program called ElevenLabs.io. I'll put the link in the description. You can use a free version of this. I do pay for it currently, but there is a free version as well to have a play around with and just see what it can do. So I'm going to skip through certain sections here, but I'm just going to talk you through how you can create and use this for a faceless YouTube channel, for example. Uh, how you can use it from text to speech, and also convert speech to speech. So it, you actually dictate what you want it to say, and it will then convert that, uh, and it will even dub it into a different language, which I'll show you uh, as we get to the end of this section. So the text to speech is exactly what it is. You paste text into this box here, and it will convert it into a voice that you pick in this second box here. So you can see the couple of ones that I've been using. I've also cloned my own voice and also give it a little twang and made it more Southern. And if you're from the UK, you'll know what that means. Um, but it gives that little twang and just changes my voice slightly on the cloned voice. Uh, and the other voices, for example, I'll pick, let's pick uh, Alice, for example. But these are not normal times in our politics. Washington is as divided as ever. So you can hear um, Jesse um, and Adam. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as... So what it does, once you've picked your actual voice that you would like, you then type some text in the box and then it will convert that text with all the enunciations and punctuations you expect to hear when you are listening or talking to somebody. So for example, I use um, or have been using Gemini, which used to be Bard, Google Bard, which is their AI writing tool. Uh, and you can ask this to sort of write you a script maybe. So let's, for example, let's say we're a botanist and we want it to write as a one minute script. Uh, write me a, I'll just put script, write me a script. Um, talking about the conifer tree. And I've misspelled multiple things, but let's just quickly correct them. And let's get Gemini AI to go and do this. So it's creating me a nice little script here. So if I, I could paste all this in. I'm not going to do. I'll just maybe copy the first paragraph out. We'll paste that in to our AI voice generator. So for example, let's do this first paragraph. Let's copy that over to 11 labs, paste that into the text box. And when I click generate the bottom here, it's gonna generate this particular text into the voice of, let's do it in Adam. It wants me to swap this top box. So it's a good thing that if you pick a, a voice that requires a different model, it will tell you to change it in here. So it's telling me to change it to multilingual 2. So I'm going to leave it on that. Uh, 11 multilingual version 2, Adam. Uh, there is voice settings in here, and you can change a few of these. I'm not going to go into them. You can hold, hover over the little information button. It tells you what each of these sliders does. Uh, the default usually works just fine. I'm going to click Generate, and it will generate this into an AI voice. So once it's started generating, it doesn't take it too long on the shorter sentences, it will start to play at the bottom here. Uh, and you'll see this line sort of go across. Sunlight filters through the dense like canopy so. of a towering forest. Birds chirp and flit between branches. 
The camera pans across various trees, focusing on a tall pine tree with its long green needles. And once it's done that voice, you can then download it here or download it there and you can add it into your favorite uh, video editing suite if that's what you are doing. So that is the text to speech and you see how powerful it is. I could change that into my own voice, for example, and then generate and it will, once it's finished generating in my voice, which is a slight tweak on it, it will then save it again. Sunlight filters through the dense canopy of a towering forest. Into the right -hand side. Birds chirp and flip between branches. The camera pans across various trees, focusing on a tall pine tree with its long green needles. We can hear all the punctuations, uh, really good, and it's really clever the way it's doing it. Okay, so the next thing I want to uh, talk about in Eleven Labs is speech to speech. Speech to speech allows you to record into a microphone um, and maybe a script and then get it. Uh, 11 labs to convert that into again into maybe the voice that you've done on yourself or maybe a totally different voice or even we can get it to dub which I'll show you right at the end after I've finished this section so the speech to speech exactly what it is what you do is you grab yourself um, some audio which I've got a bit of a test one in here and you drop that audio m4a file into the audio box here and then click on generate and all this um, audio file is me saying testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So I'll change it into a different voice. Let's go for, let's go for a lady's voice if we can. There we go. What's that, Drew? Love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride. A man sees in the Freya's world good. what he so carries we'll in his heart. So we'll leave it on Freya and we'll generate. So before this plays, what I should have done is played you what it sounds Testing. like. So let me open that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So you can hear what it sounds like. It's just me saying testing, testing, one, two, three. So then I'll carry on with this. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So there you go. That's that voice converted. Uh, and if I had um, read out the script and recorded it, I can then get it to change it into there. The beauty of this and the really good thing uh, that sort of blew my mind really is because if you change your, if you are being shown on camera, it will actually read it at the same speed. Uh, so it looks like you are actually reading it as you, as you saw right at the beginning of the video. Um, it, so it's very clever in doing that. And the other thing, because uh, it keeps all the same um, a sort of speed and timestamps as you're um, being generated in a different voice, if you do a dubbing, it works just as well. So that on the left-hand side, you can change. These are the different voices that you can add and clone your own. And you can see that was mine that I cloned earlier. There is a voice library, which you can pick from all these different types of voices. For example, um, Cowboy Bob. Love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. So I could add that one to my voice lab and that will save that into my account, into my voice lab. So you can do projects like you would do in any sort of um, program like this. But the last thing that I wanted to go through is the dubbing section that's in 11 labs. So this is really powerful that it can convert your native language to a different language just by dropping an audio file or even putting a URL to maybe your content on YouTube or TikTok into the description select a source box. So I recorded a small section of audio uh, from our previous uh, bit of AI text from Gemini uh, into an audio file and recorded that and that was this section here and I can play that, which is this one here. So all we're gonna do is drop this. The most recognizable feature this of a file in my voice is its namesake, as you can the cone. These woody structures hold this. So I'm gonna drop that into the dubbing tool in the selector source box in 11 labs. So all I'm gonna do is grab the folder, or the file, should I say, drop kind of a cones into this section, and then like I said, you can pick YouTube videos, TikTok videos, and put the URL and get it to convert that content so you can reach different markets and stuff like that. But we've got the Conifer Cones in, so we're just going to create. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Test 2 because I think I've already got a Test 1 in there. I'm going to select the language as English. That's my default language, obviously. I'm going to create it to German. I'm going to click Create. 
So while that's creating, you see I already did a sample one there, while this is creating the um, German language of my particular text, we'll just have a quick look at what else uh, Eleven Labs is, is suggesting that we do with this material. So it's saying there you can change um, foreign films into your native language, marketing, uh, obviously market different countries, education and e-learning, so you might offer lessons in English but then want to convert them into all these different uh, demographs, a really good way and obviously we've touched on social media content already and that's probably what I'll use mine for, uh, is trying to reach different markets uh, and different uh, audiences by changing the language of some of my videos. So for example I might want to change that to Chinese or German, although Germans speak very good English already, but you get the script and you get what uh, we're sort of how powerful this is and what it can do. Okay, so I'm nearly there. It says finalizing and it is done. So now I'm going to click view and I'm going to click play and you hear the German, German version of my script. Einer Konifere, ihr Namensgeber, die Zapfen. Diese hölzernen Strukturen enthalten die Samen, die Koniferen zur Fortpflanzung ermöglichen. Aber vielleicht ist das bekannt. There we go. That is that converted. And if I wanted to do, I could download that and now apply that to a video uh, or wherever else I wanted to. Um, post that particular translation. So that is it. That is my look at Eleven Labs and voice AI generation. It is the end of March in 24. I am sure this will only get better as things move on. As we know, AI is constantly adapting and changing. So I can only see this getting more powerful and easier to use, even though it is fairly simple to use as it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do, you know what to do, hit the like button. Please hit me with any comments below. They're always appreciated and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.